Hey, my name is James Nicholson and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about the possibility of getting a sub 4% interest rate, mortgage rate, that you can actually have on your residential and potentially buy-to-let mortgage. Now, over the last few weeks, interest rates have been steadily coming down, as in the mortgage rate that you actually pay. The reason for that is because there's so much more competition amongst lenders because transaction volume is down significantly and they want to get your business, which is good. So right now, there's a battle with lenders. They're fighting over lending to people like us and it's very important for them to be near the top of the search results. So let's just say you go on Money Supermarket, Compare the Market or even your broker is searching for a deal for you, you're going to look at the best deal that you can actually achieve yourself. And so for a lender, it's very important that you are seen near the top of those search results. Now, most of the time I will go myself for the cheapest lender, but not always. Sometimes I might go for the second cheapest. Maybe that's got lower fees. Maybe it's got easier to exit if I chose to exit in the future should the market change. But I'm going to nine times out of 10 be looking for a lender that's in the top three cheapest. So we're going to talk about the potential of rates going down, when they might go down. So if you haven't done before, make sure you do subscribe to the channel over there and hit the bell notification. It's pretty much Christmas. So give me a little Christmas sub, please. And while you're here, make sure you smash the like button, tickle the like button. Don't be a Scrooge. Don't be a misery with your likes. Get them flowing over there. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. We've had an absolutely crazy year on this channel. Pretty much 2 million views in a year. And most of that happens when you smash that like button. So do that right now. So what is going on? Well, there's a lender, uh, there's a broker even called Trinity Financial. And they've been backed up by a number of other brokers. They kind of know what's going on in the market if they're speaking with lenders, particularly if they're a bigger broker like Charcoal, uh, who is a big broker in the UK. They kind of know what's coming down the pipeline. And they'll be saying to lenders, look, these deals that we've got, they're not good enough. People are waiting. They have expectations that you're going to reduce your rates. So maybe you need to get on with that. Now, we have had a few lenders. We had an Indian bank that just launched in the UK that did a rate under 4%. We also had a buy-to-let lender called Land Bay, who has done multiple rates under 4%, but they've had huge fees on those ones. But we're getting so close. In the last few weeks, <coughs> lenders HSBC, Virgin, Co-op and TSB have all dropped their rates, along with other lenders as well. And so we've had rates coming down to around 4.25, 4.35, those sort of areas. And so someone is going to be the first. And I think, and a lot of brokers think, that you'll see that in the next couple of weeks. Because if you lead with that, the publicity you'll, you'll get for your bank will be huge. And I think that you'll get a rate... It won't be massively under. I think it will literally be 4.99% just because that gets you the headline that rates are below 4%. All the press would run with that. You would get so much PR and coverage. It's a smart move for any bank to do. And I do feel that that's where we're going towards those sorts of level of rates. Now, the Bank of England, in the meeting last week, they said, look, we're not going to be reducing rates anytime soon. So some people take that with what's said and they'll say, well, they're not going to reduce rates soon. So they're not. But they have to be seen to be saying that. If they say to you rates are going to come down in August, for example, the whole market is going to slow down because people are going to wait for that lower rate. They're not going to tell you ahead of time that rates are going to be coming down in the next month because it just kills a market. It will kill all transactions. Imagine this scenario. You're going to buy your dream house and it's literally down the road from you. It's near the schools that you want it to be near. Everything ticks all the boxes. But today, the lenders are lending at 5%. But you know, if you wait 30 days, that, rent, that uh, rate will be 4%. You're going to wait. And that's the problem that the Bank of England has. Now, the Federal Reserve 
have been slightly different. They've just been really transparent. They said, yeah, we're going to drop rates three times at least in 2024. Some people are expecting them to drop it five times potentially next year, which will be really, really interesting. Now, what will then happen is the Bank of England will have a lot of pressure on them. They're probably already getting a ton of pressure from the government, although they're separate, they're meant to be separate. Um, they will be getting pressure from the Conservatives to drop rates with enough time for that to have some impact prior to any election. You see, the election could be in August, for example. They're not going to drop the rates in July because that won't impact house prices, that won't get transactions up. That won't be enough time for that to happen. So the government is going to be putting pressure on the Bank of England to drop rates early-ish next year, or at least six months prior to an election. So the impact of that rate drop can be seen. Now, we follow the Fed as well. So a big consideration here is it's pretty much out of the Bank of England's hands. What America does is what we're likely to do. If they sneeze, we catch a cold. We follow the Fed and that's likely to happen with this interest rate drop in the next few months. But all of this is irrelevant because what the markets are doing right now is something called swap rates are improving on a daily basis. So what is a swap rate? A swap rate is the rate that the bank themselves borrow money off. So they borrow it from the bigger market. Those rates are dropping. Banks are able to get better deals at the moment. And so that means it's way more likely that they're going to pass this on to you. Now, they're not doing this to be kind to you. They want to make as much margin and as much profit as they possibly can. The reason why they pass this drop in interest rates on to you is they need business right now. And some banks, their, their transaction volume is down 10%. Some it's down 20%. So for them, it's really important to like invigorize and get more business into that business and get more transactions because every deal that happens, they make money on fees. So I think that you'll see by the end of January, oh, let's put that out as a prediction. I think by the end of January 2024, you will see a rate around 3.99. I think all the banks are probably getting all of that in place right now. Probably they don't want it to happen over the Christmas break because you won't get the headlines from that. There's not enough people watching news. They're watching films. They're having time with family. They want to do it when we're back in the office and we're having a normal time. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that the 3.99 rate is going to come at some point? When do you think it's going to com come? Comments below. Uh, do smash the like button, guys. That's so important that you do that on every video. It really helps our channel grow. We want to hit 4 million to 5 million views in 2024. And I can only do that with all of your support. Thank you to everyone that's been watching this year. I've still got a ton of content that I'm going to be producing. We're going to have days off. Don't worry, I'm not in the office over Christmas. I'll be recording it ahead of time. But I've got some really, really good content coming out in the next few days. The year in review, predictions for next year and much, much more. So do check out all the other content on my channel. Why don't you go and watch this video right here?